Hi, and welcome to a quick demo of how to deploy no ports onto Amazon Web Services uh, using a cloud init script. So I'm going to start here from our uh, automated installation on AWS documentation and just grab hold of a copy of this uh, cloud config, uh, which I'll be uh, kind of pasting in and uh, modifying uh, in order to um, customize the instance. I've already signed into the AWS console and I'm going to do a launch instance. I'm going to call this thing AWS NP1 and uh, I'll accept all the usual defaults for a T2 micro. Uh, grab hold of my usual key. I'm going to use an existing security group uh, called No Ports, uh, which has No Ports uh, open inbound. And then uh, finally go to this advanced details and go right to the bottom uh, where I can paste in uh, the cloud init script. And this needs a little bit of customization. So uh, my client at sign, I'm going to use my personal one, which is CP Swan. Uh, the device at sign, I'm going to use one that I've got called Bear Indoor Netball. Uh, I'm going to call the device name the same as. Uh, the VM name and I've set a semi-permanent key to be using 123456 as the OTP. All right, we're ready to launch instance now. So I'm going to hit that and the instance is uh, launching. So it's going to take a couple of minutes for that instance to uh, spin up and I'm not going to make you sit and wait along with me. Uh, so I'll snip here and come back in a minute. All right, I'm back and I've uh, clicked onto uh, the instance and we can see that the status checks uh, are passing, which probably means that it's up and ready. So next stage is I just need to go into my shell and activate. So let's go back to the documentation uh, for a moment to remind ourselves of uh, this line. So after the instance is spun up, I need to approve uh, the APCAM uh, key that will have been uh, created that's associated with that instance. So I've taken a copy of this line already and put it into my shell. And you can see that I'm using uh, my at sign name, um, the uh, no ports namespace and the device name of AWS NP1 that I set earlier on in the script. So let's hit enter on that and it's connected and that enrollment has taken place. Now what that means is that the APCAM key uh, will now be uh, available to the uh, NoPorts daemon on that VM and uh, the NoPorts daemon uh, will have been installed to run with systemd and it should now be listening so I should be able to uh, go into my SSH NoPorts client command line and I've got one uh, prepared here uh, which is going to connect with uh, my at signs uh, to that device name through the European uh, rendezvous point using the EC2 user uh, identity uh, and the key file associated with that. So let's just hit enter on that. Uh, so we can see the no ports client is doing uh, its normal stuff uh, working with the daemon and there I am uh, logged into the console of that AWS instance. Uh, and so that instance uh, has never been exposed uh, to the internet and I've never logged into it uh, previously. Uh, it's all just been set up with that automation. So I will briefly go back to that instance uh, just to uh, show you the, uh, the no ports uh, security group. And we can see here inbound rules, no rules to display. Uh, so no open ports. Thanks for watching.